Yo, this is the time of place, Pokemon Shining Pearl. We are almost there, guys. Almost. Almost. At Veilstone City. Almost. Just one last route, and we're there. This is Route 215, just west of town. It's raining, and it's going to be a lot of trainers to fight. I slow down and stop at times, sure. I'm only human after all. Okay, I guess. Um, let's see. And Meditide can just uh, go to the top. Do unto others as they do unto you. Yep, it's payback. It's good for Pokemon pals, but if you do that in real life, there'll be no end to the fighting, that's for sure. We get TM66. Very nice. Use that with the opponent, and the power get doubled. Yeah, payback is a nice move. It's basically like revenge, almost. It's like a counter move. So you do bonus damage if you use it. Uh, after you've been taking damage as well. So it's a very nice move. You can use a shortcut type, cutting down a tree, or you can fight this dude here. Check out the sharpness of my fighting type Pokemon moves! Well, let's see what you can do then, Mr. Black Belt. Derek has one Pokemon, that one is... Krogunk. Oh boy. Krogunk is a fighting type, yeah. He's also a poison type. You know what those things have in common? They have a very big weakness. It's called... Psychic. You Sucker Punch first. A move that does... Actually good damage against uh, Psychic types. But yeah. He is super weak to Psychic. Four times weak, to be more accurate. And that's how you beat him easily. You dull the sharpness. Maybe you shouldn't have too much weakness on psychic types, Mr. Black Belt. But hey, who am I kidding? I won't complain. You gave me a lot of XP. Can't complain about that, can we? Turn tips. Pokemon attacks are classified as being either physical or special. A physical attack is based on the attack stat of the Pokemon. Likewise, a special attack is based on the special attack stat. Yeah, it's basically um, one of the new things in Gen 4. Because in Gen 1, 2, and 3, the originals at least, not remakes. Um, the uh, Pokemon types decided if it was a physical or a special attack. Which was a very good thing they changed. Because Pokemon like Kingler, for example, was pissed off that their Crab Hammer did very low damage because they had low special attack despite it was a, supposed to be a physical attack. It didn't help though with Water was a special attack type. Another Black Pelt here. I was snoozing, you claim? I merely feigned sleep. Yeah. Yeah, right. Sound like you're a slacker, Mr. Blackbird Gregory. Oh, he has three Pokemon. Not bad. Meditite is his first one. Oh, nice. A mirror match. Meditite versus Meditite. So, mine one is one level higher. That's fine. Now, you can see, Forest Palm doesn't really do much damage because fighting is not resistant to itself, but sucking is strong. That's why it doesn't really do much damage. So, best to use Psy Beam. Because Faint, a Dark Move, doesn't do too much damage though because not being a Dark type means you do less damage. It's still faster than me, it seems. I'm getting a bit low HP because I have been low HP from entering this battle. If I survive this feint, I should be fine. Let's detect. Detect means he's immune to damage for the turn. Which is fine. We'll do it again. Another feint comes in. It hits. I will survive. That's what I predicted. Sabim will hit. And the Meditide goes down. I win the mirror matchup. Maybe because it is stronger attacks. Next up is Machop. Much up. I could face. I'm a bit low HP on mid tides, so I'm gonna switch it out. Let's bring in our big bird friends, Teravia. Teravia is important for next gym because, just like the black belts, we're gonna face fighting types in the Whalestone gym. So you wanna have focus on psychic and flying types in the next gym to be very clear. Just a big problem though. Even though Staravia is a flying type, it's also a normal type, and normal is weak to fighting, so it doesn't have resistance to fighting as it should have. 
Meta again. We'll just keep on using Staravia to use its weakness to, to flying attacks. Detect comes in again. Immune to wing attack, that's fine. Faint. Does low damage because he again is a dark type move. And you don't really do much damage if you're not the same type of the same move. Critical hit, wing attack. It's a one hit KO on the Meditite. Poor little thing. Staravia's 28 now. Very high level. Must learn Aerial Ace, and that is a great move. It has same power as Wing Attack, and much less PP. However, Aerial Ace is a guaranteed hit. Even if you use Sand Attack against a Pokemon like uh, Staravia, it doesn't care. Because Staravia will always hit with Aerial Ace. I don't find reduction of PP to be a big issue, so I'm going to replace Wing Attack with Aerial Ace. It's such a good move. Murph. And we get a Fist Plate. Another plate from the Arceus ones. This is the Fighting type one, obviously. Go up here, we can go down here, get an item. A guard spec. Go down these places here. Use this tree to cut down. Another trainer here. Every drop of sweat I shed makes me that much stronger. Fine. Another black belt here. Black belt Nathaniel. With Krogok. Hmm. Should I fight Krogonk or should I heal? I forgot to heal. I'm not gonna take a chance. In case he uses Sucker Punch again, he's gonna KO me before I get to hit him. Let's use the Super Potion on the Meditite, restoring HP to max, since the Super Potion is a 60 HP restoration. After 2 HP, that means it goes above max. Flatter. Flatter is basically the same thing as the. Um, uh, I can't remember the move. The move that increases attack stat and causes confusion. This is good for me though, because special attack means my side beam will hit even harder. Krogunk will go down for sure. And with Meditite. I'm not gonna bother with that. Staravia, if you please. Come on out and play! Here we go. Intimidate, reducing attack stat of uh, Meritite, which means Mr. is a great Pokemon to switch in and out just to get the uh, extra attack stat reduction now for free. We see a new Aerial Ace in action. Faint comes first in. Aerial Ace comes now. Oh yeah, I love the animation, it's so fast. It always hits, always do go good. Next up is Matchup. Since we switched Meditite out and in again, this means the confusion effect is no longer there. Same as well with the special attack uh, increase from the Flatter, which is fine. There's Matchup, the original fighting type Pokemon from Gen 1. He's a pure fighting type. Psychic. Taking it down. And almost double up. And they win. I don't want to believe this happened, but a loss is a loss. At least this guy's honest, though. What about you? Jung is good for you, but you have to make sure you're not overdoing it. Yeah, I agree. As someone that actually been doing a bit work of health and body, I do agree that you don't have to overdo it, mainly because of your feet. There's a lot of tension for your feet to have your body go back and forth. So make sure you have good shoes, you run on a good place, and yeah, you at least do have a good mind as well. If you're stressed, it might not be good. 
All right, let's see. We have a double battle now. Uh, I think Point I should get some more XP too. Let's bring in our low levels and get in through this double battle. I'm taking the Veilstorm Gym Challenge, but first... I'll battle anyone, that's how I get better. Yeah, let's have this dual battle then. With two cool trainers or ace trainers, Maya and... Uh, uh, Dennis. With Glamio and Monferno. Interesting. So Monferno is the starter from uh, the Firestarter reign, which is Chimchar. And then we also have the Glamia, which we always had before. Now Monferno, interesting enough, he is a fire type, but best evolving from Chimchar, he also gets the fighting type. Which means now he has a bit of an issue. Actually, never mind. I think actually Monferno is a fighting type. I thought he was, but it says only effective on the side beam on Monferno, which is kind of strange. Oh, like doesn't matter though. Maybe because it was on the other Pokemon, it doesn't matter. Same charge on Glamio. Air lace. Yeah, Glamio's air lace, which is interesting. Taunt. Taunt causes the opponent to only use attacking moves that deal damage. Which means you can't do non-damaging moves while under a taunt. Level 25 on Meditite and Ponyta. Mind Reader is next. Mind Reader is basically the same thing as Detect. Or actually, never mind. Uh, never mind that. Mind Reader is a good move. Mind Reader makes you be able to hit the opponent regardless of whatever happens. You can even do Mind Reader, I think, to hit Ghost types as well. So it's a nice move if you really want to use some move that will hit the opponent. But it's only good if you have a move that has low accuracy, so in my opinion it's not worth it. Flame Wheel is a good move from uh, Ponyta. Flame Wheel is basically an improved version of Flame Charge. The exception being that Flame Charge increases speed, Flame Wheel can cause burns. That's basically the big thing here. I don't think you need Ember and Flame Charge though. So let's just get rid of Ember because Ponyta is more of a physical attacker. Kadabra is next. Kadabra, a pure psychic type, but very, 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 very low physical defense. Now let's use Side Beam on Monferno and Ponita with our new Flame Wheel on to Kadabra. Kadabra will use Reflect, causing physical damage to be reduced by half. For the opponent team, Fury Swipes. Move the hits between two to five times. At three times. Yeah, three times total. From Side Beam. Yeah, it is effective. So it was just that we was reading it wrong. So yeah, Monferno is a fighting type as well as a fire type now. Let's just do this one more time. Flame Wheel on Kadabra and the Force Pump on Monferno. I mean, Side Beam on the Monferno. Oh, Kadabra! Oh, he got burned though. That's gonna be bad for our opponent, for Kadabra. Side beam on Meditite. Oh, that's a hard hit. Kadabra has very high special attack. One for him with Leer. That means a defense loss for uh, Ponyta. The burn hits it, and Kadabra is out. So even though we didn't kill it with the flame wheel, we didn't manage to take it down regardless. Level 28 on Primplup. And we'll learn Fury Attack. Which is a really, really good move. Same thing as Fury Swipes, basically. Speaking of Primplup, let's bring it in. Because Monferno is a fire type. It is raining. So Monferno will take a lot of damage from a water move now. Doesn't really matter what to do here. Just use Tell. It doesn't really matter. But we must special attack anyways. Three swipes on Ponyta. That's one, two, two hits. This gonna hurt though. Bubble Beam during rain weather. 
That's going to be a KO for sure. Inferno goes down. And level 28 on Luxio. Nice. We have one more Pokemon to fight. It's Gyarados. And Gyarados has Intimidate just like Staravia does. Minus attack for both Pokemon. And Gyarados is a dual type water and flying. Which means it has a certain weakness to something. We're going to do Charm. And I'm going to switch out um, my Ponyta with Luxio. Charm is a good move because it reduces attack by a lot. And uh, Luxio for doing massive damage to Gyarados. Also got Intimidate. Bite. Now it wasn't that great. I'm going to do even less now. Because now it's attack, attack reduction by 2. Now Gyarados has minus 3 attack. So if we now go to battle and we do... The 3 map we do here, we can just do Peck. The big thing here is to do Spark. You go first because of the Quick Claw. Gyarados will use Ice Fang. Damage is very low because of the reduced attack by 3. Gyarados is extremely weak to electric because being a flying water dual type. That's why I do so much damage. Ponta is 26 now. And we win. You made me lose my confidence. You've won and I lost. But the both of us gained something from this. I guess this is a win-win, I guess. up some more berries while we're here. Wiki berries. Does it make me smart? Is it like uh, encyclopedia berries maybe? Wiki berries, Wikipedia berries. Mago berries. Wiki is... Okay. Restores HP will cause confusion to Pokemon doesn't like the, the uh, taste. You can use plant too. I don't think you need to water these ones if it's raining. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think you need to. So let's just skip that. It's an item you need to pick up here as well. Let's grab it. It's a TM34 Shockwave. A very good move. Shockwave, if I don't remember correctly, is a move that's basically just like Aerial Ace, but it's a special attack, electric move, which will always hit regardless if the opponent uh, has accuracy or evasion changes. So that's nice. Anyways, that will be the end of this episode. We are basically now just outside the gate to Veilstone City. Next episode, we're going to head into Veilstone, explore it a bit, and then we're going to head into the gym and get badge number three. How will that go? It's going to warn you, gym leader has some very powerful Pokemon, but it's a fighting type Pokemon we're going to face off. So, flying, psychic, you get those ready, it shouldn't be too much of a hassle. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. I'll see you next time as my journey in Pokemon Shining Pearl continues.